So Ryan Wesley Ruth has been officially indicted for attempted assassination of the former president, Donald J. Trump. And I'm going to read the press release that the Department of Justice released about it to you. So that way you can, you don't have to read it. A federal grand jury in Miami late this afternoon returned an indictment charging Ryan Wesley Ruth, 58, of Hawaii with attempting to kill former president Donald J. Trump at Trump International Golf Club in West Palm Beach, Florida on September 15th. Quote, Violence targeting public officials endangers everything our country stands for, and the Department of Justice will use every available tool to hold Ryan Ruth accountable for the attempted assassination of former President Trump charged in the indictment, said Attorney General Merrick B. Garland. Quote, the Justice Department will not tolerate violence that strikes at the heart of our democracy, and we will find and hold accountable those who perpetrate it. This must stop, end quote. The next piece is, quote, this alleged attempted assassination of the former president at his golf course was a direct attack, attack on our, our democracy. Political violence has no place in this country. Not then, not now, not ever, end quote, said Deputy Attorney General Lisa Monaco. Quote, the charges today reflect the department's continued resolve to deploy every available resource to ensure public officials remain safe and to hold accountable those who target public officials to the fullest extent of the law. End quote. Quote, Ruth is charged with attempted assassination of a presidential candidate, which strikes at the very heart of our democratic system. End quote said FBI Director Christopher Wray. Quote, the FBI is continuing our investigation into this alleged plot and will use the full weight and resources of the FBI to uncover and provide as much information as possible about what led to the events in West Palm Beach. In our county, we have to hold accountable people who resort to violence, end quote. According to the allegations in a complaint affidavit and a factual proffer filed with the court, Former President Trump was golfing at Trump International on September 15th, and a Secret Service agent conducting a perimeter security sweep saw the, the partially obscured face of a man, later identified as Ruth, in the bush along the fence line near the sixth hole. The agent observed the barrel of a rifle aimed directly at him. As the agent began backing away, he saw the rifle barrel move, and the agent fired at Ruth. Okay, so there was an actual firing. Somebody did like fire rounds. It was the secret service agent. A witness saw Ruth running across the road from the golf course and getting into a black Nissan Xterra. Based on information provided by the witness, Ruth was later apprehended heading northbound on I-95 by officers from the Martin County, Florida Sheriff's Office in coordination with the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office. Court documents allege that in the area where Ruth had been hiding in the tree line, FBI agents located an SKS semi-automatic rifle with a scope attached and an extended magazine. The serial number on the rifle was obliterated and unreadable. Hanging from the fence was a backpack and a reusable shopping bag that each contained a plate capable of stopping small arms fire. According to the allegations filed with the court, FBI agents found documents that contained a handwritten list of dates in August, September, and October, and venues where the former president had appeared or was expected to be present. Cell, re cell records for two of the cell phones found in the Nissan Xterra showed that on multiple days and times from August 18th to September 15th, Ruth's cell phone access cell towers located near Trump International and the former president's residence at Mar-a-Lago. According to the factual proffer filed with the court, a civilian witness contacted law enforcement stating that Ruth had dropped off a box at his residence several months ago. Including, included in the box was a handwritten letter from Ruth addressed Dear World, which stated, among other things, quote, This was an assassination attempt on Donald Trump, but I am so sorry I failed you, end quote. Bro. Okay, the dude's straight up just admitting it. What are you going to do? There's like plain evidence right there. Ruth was charged with attempted assassination of a major, major presidential candidate, possessing a firearm in furtherance of a crime of violence, assaulting a federal officer, quote, or in parentheses, a secret service agent, felon in possession of a firearm and ammunition, and possession of a firearm with an obliterated serial number. At a detention hearing on September 23rd, September 23rd, Ruth was ordered to remain in federal custody pending trial. If convicted, Ruth faces a maximum penalty of life in prison. According to court records, Ruth was convicted of felonies in North Carolina in December of 2002 and March of 2010. So he's been convicted of felonies two separate times. The FBI is investigating the case with assistance from the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives and the U.S. Secret Service. 
The U.S. Attorneys General for the Southern District of Florida and the National Security Division's Counterterrorism Section are prosecuting the case. And then it says, I don't know, for some reason they put in italics, an indictment is merely an allegation. All defendants are presumed innocent until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt in a court of law. I get, and this was released September 24th, 2024. I get they probably have to put that as a disclaimer because at the end of the day, yes, if you were charged with something, you're still innocent until proven guilty. Get it. Uh, I think that the evidence is overwhelming, but they still have to run through the trial because that's what you should be doing for everybody. So good. All right. Anyway, you can view the indictment. You click here. Let's see. All right. Here's the actual indictment. It says indictment. The grand jury charges that count one attempted assassination of a major presidential candidate. On or about September 15th, 2024, in Palm Beach County in the Southern District of Florida, the defendant, Ryan Wesley Ruth, in bold letters, did intentionally attempt to kill former President of the United States, Donald J. Trump, a major presidential candidate, as defined in Title 18, United States Code, Section 3056, in violation of Title 18, United States Code, Section 351, Charlie. Count 2. Possessing a firearm in furtherance of a crime of violence. On or about September 15th, 2024, in Palm Beach County, in the Southern District of Florida and elsewhere, the defendant, Ryan Wesley Ruth, did knowingly possess a firearm in furtherance of a crime of violence, that is, a violation of Title 18, United States Code, Section 351, Charlie, as set forth in Count 1 of this indictment, for which the defendant may be prosecuted in a court of the United States in violation of Title 18, United States Code, Section 924, Charlie 1 Alpha. Pursuant to Title 18, United States Code Section 924, Charlie 1 Alpha 2, it is further alleged that the firearm was brandished. Count 3. Assaulting a federal officer. Not good. Not good at all. On or about September 15th, 2024, in Palm Beach County in the Southern District of Florida, the defendant, Ryan Wesley Ruth, did forcibly assault, oppose, impede, intimidate, and interfere with Secret Service Special Agent Number 1, which is, they're not going to tell his name, an officer and employee of the United States and of an agency in any branch of the United States government as, des as designated in Title 18, United States Code, Section 1114. That is the United States Secret Service. While Secret Service Special Agent Number 1 was engaged in and on account of the performance of his official duties with the intent to commit another felony in violation of Title 18, United States Code, Section 111. Pursuant to Title 18, United States Code, Section 111, it is further alleged that the defendant used a deadly and dangerous weapon. Count 4. Felon in possession of a firearm and ammunition. On or about September 15th, 2024, in Palm Beach County in the Southern District of Florida and elsewhere, the defendant, Ryan Wesley Ruth, did knowingly possess a firearm and ammunition in the in and affecting interstate and foreign commerce, knowing that he had previously been convicted of a crime punishable by imprisonment, imprisonment for a term exceeding one year. In violation of Title 18, United States Code Section 922, Golf 1. Count 5. Possession of a firearm with an obliterated serial number, mean, meaning the serial number was removed, destroyed, scratched off. On or about September 15th, 2024, in Palm Beach County in the Southern District of Florida and elsewhere, the defendant, Ryan Wesley Ruth, did knowingly possess a firearm which he had the importer's and manufacturer's serial number removed, obliterated, and altered, and had at the time been shipped and transported in interstate and foreign commerce in violation of Title 18 United States Code Section 922 Kilo. Forfeiture Allegations the allegations of this indictment are hereby realleged and by this reference fully incorporated herein for the purpose of alleging forfeiture to, uni to the United States of certain property in which the defendant Ryan Wesley Ruth has an interest. Upon conviction of a violation of Title 18 United States Code 351, as alleged in this indictment, the defendant shall forfeit to the United States any property, real or personal, which constitutes or is derived from proceeds traceable to such offense, pursuant to Title 18 United States Code Section 9 981 Alpha 1 Charlie, and all assets foreign or domestic. 
of any individual entity or organization engaged in planning or perpetrating any federal crime of terrorism against the United States, citizens or residents of the United States or their property and all assets, foreign or domestic, affording any person a source of influence over any such entity or organization. Acquired or maintained by any person with the intent and for purpose of supporting, planning, conducting, or concealing any federal crime of terrorism as defined in Section 2332 Bravo Golf 5 against the United States citizens or residents of the United States or their property or derived from, involved in, or used or intended to be used to commit any federal crime of terrorism against the United States citizens or residents of the United States or their property, or of any individual entity or organization engaged in planning or perpetrating any act of international terrorism against inter any international organization as defined in Section 209 of the State Department Basic Authorities Act of 1956, or against any foreign government pursuant to Title 18. United States Code Section 981. Upon conviction of a violation of Title 18, United States Code Sections 922 or 924, or any other criminal law of the United States as alleged in this indictment, the defendant shall forfeit to the United States any firearm and ammunition involved in or used in the commission of such offense pursuant to Title 18, United States Code Section 924, Delta 1. All pursuant to Title 18, United States Code Sections 981, Alpha 1, Charlie 981, Alpha 1, Golf, and 924, Delta 1. One, and the procedures set forth at Title 21 United States Code Section 853 as incorporated by Title 28 United States Code Section 2461 Charlie. A true bill signed by Markenzie LaPointe, United States Attorney, Southern District of Florida, Mark Despoto, Assistant United States Attorney, Southern District of Florida. Looks like AJ J. Alexander, Assistant United States Attorney, Southern District of Florida. Abby D. Waxman, Assistant United States Attorney, Southern District of Florida. And David C. Smith, Trial Attorney, National Security Division, Counterterrorism Section. Whoa! Well, it seems to me that uh, he is, uh, he's toast. He's toast. Well, it's official, folks.